Well, it used to be we had busy seasons around here in the tri-state region, but now it seems uh, summer, spring, winter, fall, uh, there's just so many different great activities going on in all our towns in our tri-state region. And some of them uh, have been going on for years. Others are new. But uh, it's an amazing time to be in our area. And it's why people come to our area because there's so many different things going on. Uh, what's coming up uh, is Fall for Art 2019. It's coming up in Millerton, New York on October 12th. Joining us Today on Robin Hood Radio is Dana Jennings Roan, who is the owner of Montage and is also co secretary of the Millerton Business Association. Dana, thanks for taking a few minutes and joining us today. Thanks, Marshall. I'm a pleasure to be here. You know, I think when Fall for Art started out, it started out as a great idea, but I don't think people realized uh, really how big and how all inclusive uh, this particular event has been. Would, would become because right now I, I think it's probably one of the most participated events that goes on in Millerton uh, throughout the course of the year. Absolutely. Actually, this year we have a record number of venues participating. There are 27 different locations that people can come and enjoy. The art of all different mediums. Um, and we also have a lot of uh, village-wide um, uh, other events that are happening the same day, which is going to really make it a lot of fun for families and for people coming to look at art. Now, if people want information right off the bat, I will tell them that they can go to fallforart.com, F-A-L-L-F-O-R-A-R-T.com. Also, on our uh, on-demand page uh, on the interview section with this interview, uh, we will have uh, pictures of where all the locations are and links to the website and more. Let's talk a little bit about the day in general on October 12th. This is going to run from 1 until 6, and people really are invited to come into town, uh, take a look at all the art that's on display in all the stores. That's that's the first thing, right? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, but in addition to the art that's uh, going to be on view in the different stores, there's also, it's the day of the farmer's market, of course, and um, then there are these different um specified events at different places in town. For example, um, we have at, from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock um, uh, in front of Saperstein's, there's going to be an event for children uh, with Allison Elliott, who is the ed director from McEnroe Farm, and the kids are going to get a chance to draw pictures of the front of Turney's store. And that is so special for us uh, as part of our sort of village celebration of the hundredth year of tourneys here in, in the village. So those the pictures the children do will be on display, and they will then be given to the tourney family as a memento. You know, also, so I, I see that Northeast Community Center is, is having a Hispanic Heritage Day. Well. Yes, and that's going to be so exciting. Uh, we had Christine at our meeting recently, and she filled us in that the Heritage Festival will be going on from 2 to 4 by NECC, and uh, they're going to have flamenco dancers and mariachi bands. They're going to be a kinship circle of tables, uh, which will have um, displays from each country that is represented by people living in our community. And the other thing that they're going to have is their health van is going to be on the premises, and they'll be having some free health screenings as well. Now I'm looking at the also at the schedule event. Uh, the uh, Millerton Library is hosting a pumpkin painting and carving. Uh, contest. Yes, yes. So from ten to three, um, down at the library, there is going to be pumpkin painting and carving uh, right, right out on the lawn. And in the morning, they're offering free coffee and tea. Um, so that'll be a fun, another fun thing for for children and families to now, go uh, now, attend. I also see that my good friend Mark Liebergall and everybody in the 14th Colony will also be exhibiting. Absolutely, in between. Absolutely, <laughs> Veterans Park is going to be hopping. Not only will we have the 14th Colony ungallery there, but we're also going to be um, having in that same location the Climate Smart Project. Uh, display, and that is a really interesting project that's been going on for a while between the villages of Millerton, Dover, and Amenia, and it was really uh, spearheaded to reach out to artists to try to create art that really embodies their feelings about um, the climate crisis and, you know, what maybe that means to our local communities. So that display will be right alongside the 14th Colony there on um, 
uh, around the Veterans Park. And, and besides all that, now that we've mentioned all that, which is which is a nice <laughs> enough way to spend a, a, a couple of hours in Millerton right by yeah, yourself. Absolutely. But, but then all the different businesses and if folks yeah. are just it's just about every business you can you can imagine in town. Uh, that's where the art will be on display in between one and six, right? That's right. So between one and six, um, all, all of the, we have a brochure, by the way, that'll be available all over the place, and uh, it's also available online, um, that tells you where the different artists are being hosted. And at those locations, the artists mainly will be present uh, to meet people, and all of those venues will be having refreshments, including um, a wonderful tasting of King's Highway Fine Cider, uh, which is a uh, underwritten by the Millerton Business Alliance and, and uh, Tyler Graham, the owner of King's Highway. Um, and there'll be also uh, re- regular fresh cider and cookies and things so that every location will have uh, hospitality. We're talking about Fall for Art, uh, which is coming up uh, in Millerton, New York, and it's not that far away, actually. It's uh, coming up on October 12th from 1 to 6. Interesting, though, taking uh, taking a look at your brochure, and this is why I recommend people, we've got your brochure on our website, but also they can get a download at your website, is that when you look at all the businesses uh, on Main Street uh, and 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 South Center Street, how close they're pa- packed together. You have parking on South Center Street. Of course, you have uh, uh, parking on Century Boulevard. It mm-hmm. is a very easy, simple walk. And, and and what I don't want people to forget is there's one location that's not in the center of town, and that is what's going on at North Elm, right? Absolutely, yes. The North Elm Home has been a, always a big supporter of this event, and they have wonderful art shows there all the time. So people should... Come and do town and have some lunch and wander around and then hop in the car and run around the corner and go see what they've got going on down there. Well, really, <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think that's one of the great things about what when you have an event in Millerton. It's a lot like Kent. It's very easy to get around. And when you go mm-hmm. from event to event and place to place, you also have restaurants and other places that you can break your day up with all the other activities. Yeah, that's right. I mean, as you say, Millerton has something in common with Kent in that I I kind of think of it as a walk-around village where so many villages you kind of have to go from place to place by car, but Millerton has that little two-block city kind of feeling, Uh, and and everything is is right here, and and it's going to be a very vibrant weekend, and we're all really excited about it. Well, once again, it is Fall for Art. If people want more information, fallforart.com, and you also have a Facebook page, right? We do, and we are also on Instagram. On Instagram as well. And, yep. of course, October 12th is going to be a beautiful day. <laughs> it sure will. <laughs> a lot going on in town uh, on yes, that day. Yes, indeed. Well, once again, uh, congratulations to the Millerton uh, Business Association. I think uh, the way you you all communicate and set up these events uh, is really important, and, and it's, it's a lesson well learned for other towns uh, that uh, you bring people into the town center and enjoy everything the town has to offer. And Millerton does have a lot to offer. Yes, we do, and we're, we're very happy and proud of it. Fall for Art, October 12th. Thank you so much, Dana, for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Marshall.